Hello, old people. Um, I was going to cut my grass the other day, uh, but my strimmer is old. It's just getting too difficult to start. Um, to be fair, I've had it five years. I don't think money's worth that bit. <laughs> but I managed to get this. This is brand new. It was in the hot. Young and I. Look at it, see what it looks like. So the end of that pole. Let's down there a minute. Strap, shoulder strap, and that's the, the end to put the skimmer wire. Pop that there as well. So, put the tool bag and wrap it. Spark and spatter it with the screwdrivers. It's a mixy. It's only 40 to 1. Okay. Yep. That's all good. Now, I was going to buy a reconditioned one on um, eBay. I think it was 79 quid. And I thought, after watching a few YouTube videos on it, don't buy the reconditioned one. So this one come up on Marketplace. Or 50 quid. I thought, well, can't go wrong, it's brand new. So I'm going to put it all together and we'll uh, see how it performs. The toolbox comes with an iron key that fits these for the handle. He does these two there. So that's the head on. Um, and a bigger one. If you have that's for. Unless it's for tightening up any bolts that come loose. Because one thing I've learned over the years of instruments, every now and again, some of the bolts might just vibrate loose, so you just need to check them every now and again. There's a spark plug spark. And it just spans me. Keep all them safe. Comes to the uh, Instruction book. Uh, not that I'm going to read it. <laughs> it's not rocket science to put these things together. So that's the head unit. I like these auto choke things. Um, so we'll, that big goes in there. Somewhere in the second, you have to twist it around because the shaft on the inside is square. The shaft in there is square, you twist it around until it completely drops in, and then there's see that locating thing there. Now that can't come out, just tighten it up there. Basically, we're ready to go. So, I'll get it outside, put some fuel on it, and we'll see how it starts. Oops. Um, I've mixed some 40 to 1 fuel 
I'm going to put it in and I'm going to see how many balls it takes to start. It's the first time it's been started so I'll start it and uh, just let it tick over for a couple of minutes just to uh, make sure everything's covered inside it and then uh, I'm not going to get the man right. <laughs> the road up the top. Sounds like a tank. <laughs> um, we're not going to get the mower out, we're going to screw it up. Um, we'll see what it performs like. It worked fine, never cut out once. Um, the grass was very wet. It's the first time I've cut it this year. So all I've done is I've took it down a bit, give it a chance to dry out over the next few days, and then I'll run the mower over it when it's still around the outside. But first impressions, it works. So, thanks for watching, people.